One of the most wanted pieces of gear of 2020, Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. Now, I was a heavy user of Two Notes um, products before. I was using the Torpedo Studio for a while on my studio, back on you know another home I have, another studio. And I was using that for all my sessions and recording stuff and demo, and I really loved it. Then, you know, because guitar players were never satisfied, um, I changed that, I sold that, and I bought the Universal Audio Aux just to try things different because the Torpedo was using IRs, Universal Audio was doing their own thing, so I thought, let's give it a try, see, you know, if it's better or not. I was, again, happy with the two notes, but, you know, you're addicts, that's what we are. So I changed that for the Universal Audio. I think the Universal Audio sounds really great. I'm using that 99% of the time these days to record sessions at home, record albums, solo. There's no real go to the studio thing anymore, unless we are talking about super big productions with a lot of money involved. Then, of course, you go to a really nice, high quality studio, but you know, most of the time I can record guitars here with different amps and the Universal Audio, and uh, it's, you know, super great, high quality product uh, that I, I can record here. So there's no need to go to, studios anymore, I think. So, if I have the Universal Audio, why do I want this? Well, you know, I'm mainly a tour guy, so I play with a lot of, you know, big acts here in Spain and South America and Europe, and usually, if you are playing arenas and, you know, big acts, visual things are very important, you know, lights and LEDs and things that are happening on stage, so you are not allowed to have your amp on stage anymore. Um, just because, you know, from the audience, if everything is based on lights and then there's a black cube there, it doesn't look cool from from the audience. So usually at, at first I, I started having my, you know, Friedman or, or my Marshall or, or Fender or any amp I was using uh, at that time or even rental amps. I was using that on the back of the stage facing backwards as well. So it, I wasn't able to heal my amp anymore. So everything was based on in-ears and I was never happy with that. I mean, it sounded okay, I can do the job and I can deliver, but you know, I was never happy with my tone and I, I was sure that it was not my tone because you know, I was in front of the amp, I played, sounded great, put my in-ears, sound like shit. So after that, I realized, well, there's no need to have my amps anymore here because, you know, I, I can hear myself very well on ears or the tone sucks. So I start using fractals and these days I'm using line seats, helix, which I'm super happy as well. First gig, I plugged in, tone was nice. I was doing my presets, I put my in ears and it, it was like a game changer, you know, everything was sounded way better than with a mic at cabinet. So I started using um, line seats for all my gigs that I couldn't have my my amps on stage. Now, uh, the Gloria Gaynor gig, I'm touring with her pretty much worldwide, except from the States. Uh, I have uh, two deluxe reverbs on a stereo just on my, on my back, so that's an exception, but usually you are not allowed to have that anymore. I, I think it's just because, you know, Gloria is like, old old days vintage funk based so there's no there's visuals but you know it's not that important if you are playing like a major pop act these days that you know visuals and things that happen on stage and screens are super important so why do i want a two note torpedo capture x on my life well because at the end of the day i miss real amps you know even if i'm happy with the line seats as i said just the same reason i sold the two notes torpedo studio and i bought the universal audio I'm thinking about going back to real amps again, at least, you know, on some situations. So I thought, well, I'm gonna build like a rack with um, me maybe my Friedman or, or a Marshall Fender, so I have an AB, and then you use IRs for my in-ears and, and the front of house as well, because there's no need to bring caps anymore, at least, you know, on my gigs. So this arrived last week, I tried with, with my Marshall um, straight into my Yamaha speakers back there, and it sounded so great, I, I didn't touch anything, it was a preset, and so yeah, I was really happy with it. So this is gonna be on the road with me like 90% of the time, because if you're playing with in-ears, this is a perfect solution for you. Also, if you have a recording studio, as I do, and you do sessions as I do, this is a perfect solution for your amps and recording and you know sending tracks from home. Even if I have Universal Audio, I'm gonna do another video comparing both, just no talking, just comparing same amp, same setting, same everything, same kind of a cap, 
and see how they sound because I think there's something that people are very interested in. So I'm gonna do that as well. But for this video, I'm gonna use just a few um, IRs that are uh, that came with the Two Notes Torpedo Studio Capture X, and I'm gonna use the new Solo Valas IRs based on like 412 Marshall with different mic choices and everything. Now, before you ask, there's a hundred of videos talking about these products, running you through specs and what you can do, what you cannot do with this product. Now, I wanna base my channel with personal experiences and, uh, and I just how it sounds, you know, because at the end of the day, this thing can do so much that, you know, I won't use it 25% uh, of things that this amazing product is capable of. So. I'm gonna plug my Friedman or Marshall here, record it, and I wanna let you hear guys for yourself and make your own opinion, okay? Let's go. Okay, so Gibson 57, straight into my Friedman B100 Deluxe, Eventide H9, providing some delay because, you know, you gotta have some wet on your life. This is my first preset based on um, 412, kind of a cream back and um, SM57 and some kind of a ribbon mic, which is my favorite combination. And um, yeah, that's the, um, the IR that you can find into the torpedo, okay? So let's go. <laughs> Sounds great, man. Let's go for the solo balas, which is kind of the same combination, so you can, you know, really com um, compare them. Solo balas. <laughs> Different sounds, man. Uh, on the solo balance, of course, you can choose between a lot of different positions and mics, and what well, you have an U67 and a 57. So, but again, I think there are different sounds. You can get close with um, with both of them because you have a lot of different variation, the voicing knob and everything. But those are the kind of tones I will like to. This one is like more modern to me. <laughs> Like more bassy, but this one is great, man. The the building. Let's go for a clean sound and see what happens here. Okay, clean sound. Okay, strat, 57 strat, nothing better than this one for clean sounds. I think 
for clean the solo Dallas really gives a little bit more bass, so it's nice for. Torpedo. I like both, man. Both are great. And last but not least, I want to show you something that I think is very interesting. Um, if you go. Let's record this. If you go to the um, Dream Tracker, it makes um, like a, another track with a little bit of delay, so it sounds like there's two guitar play players uh, playing at the same time. So, okay, let's go. Imagine I do a riff, like, I don't know, maybe uh, something, something very similar I was playing before, so. the twin tracker I think that's gonna sound awesome if you are the only guitar player on your band and uh, and uh, you wanna sound like there's two guitar players so the the track is is recorded twice like uh, on an album so I think it's amazing and you can, you can really um, set uh, that the, the delay between one track and another. So let's hear the difference, like in a, a kind of a solo situation. So if I'm, I don't know, on B. <laughs> that's without it. That's with it. Very cool. All right, so that was the Torpedo Capture X. Really nice piece of gear. Most wanted on a 2020. Now you know why. It sounds amazing with his own IRs, solo Dallas IRs, third-party IRs, whatever you want. It sounds great. A lot of great possibilities. Routing. You can do pretty much whatever you want with this live on a on a studio situation too. So really recommend to get one if you are looking for a lot of IR recording at home or just live situation uh, when you don't want to use like real mics or even you can blend the IRs with a real mic situations with but it's nice too. If you like the video please subscribe feel free to comment ask any questions uh, I'll be around and um, as, as I always say keep rocking.